Ever wonder how you get debug mode in Sonic and Knuckles? Well, it's quite easy. First, you need this. Sonic 3 and Knuckles. This is Sonic Mega Collection on the GameCube. Mega! Stage 1. Enter the cheat code. By cheat codes, level select. But, for the file you choose, you need to choose one where you have all of the emeralds. This one, and this one. On this one it seems kind of unlikely, but I've had it happen, it just takes a few tries. This one has a high chance of success. Choose zone one. <laughs> Zip it along, 16 pixels per frame. Now you just need to get to a swinging bomb. On <laughs> the swinging vine, left, 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 right, 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 up, up, up. Hear the ling? Pause it and press the C and you can frame advance. That's how you know that you've entered level select. Press A when it's paused. Now you got level selected. On this screen, either press up once or down twice. Sound test. Okay. Every single level here. But what we need is Mushroom Hill. You can do it with any character. This is Sonic and Tails together, not the double zero. This is Sonic alone, Tails alone, and Knuckles. It don't matter what character you use. But Knuckles, it may seem a little difficult, so I'll demonstrate how it's done. You only need to press start. Not necessary, but... We need to perform a glide hop. Or at least that's what they call it. That was a glide hop. See that? That's the glide hop. He's invincible. Okay. Here, same thing. Left, left, left. Right, right, right. Up, up, up. And again, start. Press A. That's debug. Go to sound test again. Now, pick any level. This one's my top favorite of all. To confirm debug, press B. The score becomes the coordinates. The top one is where the Sonic himself is at. The first four is the X position. The last four is the Y position. Funny fox. The bottom set of eight is the screen position, also X, Y. Okay, now we need to go get 50 rings. Now oh, get in that blue ball. That thing loves that blue. I don't know why, but it does. Well, there's 50 rings, but I gotta get rid of the dumb shield. Okay, transform. Now, when in debug, all you need to do is go to the monitor, place a lot of these, and I mean a lot. The time is apparently memory usage. The minutes indicates how many frames are being skipped. Usually it's zero. The seconds, I'm not too sure what it is, but it appears to be 16 by 32 block size. Why that screwy size? I don't know. I'll just 
added this in 16 by 16, but oh. But, for this bug to work, we need to take big caution, because you'll need to exploit a class 7 bug. 7. Very severe. So, when you jump up to bust all those monitors, you have to be ready to press start real quick. You only get like a half second or so. Ready? That's it. Now we're in Sonic and Knuckles mode. Looks strange, but... And again, press A plus start. It don't matter who the character is. And there you have it. But in this game, you can't play Sonic and Tails or Tails alone. Tails is simply not in here. But you can pick any character you want. And all these other ones from Sonic 3, they're unplayable. And yes, you can play Knuckles and Death Egg. See? And that's how you get debug mode in Sonic and Knuckles. And by the way, you're invincible with debug. Seems like committing suicide, but... Like that, you press B to enter debug. Press B to exit. And you're fine. Same thing happens when you get crushed as well. The strange things can happen when you're dead and you place some stuff, but I ain't gonna bother with that. But that's all there is to it. Oh, and press A, reverse gravity. You can do that in any level. Press pause, press hold B, and you get slow motion. Tough. And press A, of course, if you want to quit. To get back, there is no known method. And I don't know of a method where you can get back to Sonic 3 mode. Or into Sonic 3 mode, or back into Sonic 3 and Knuckles mode. But, that's it.